everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and we are in week 11 of the 12 Weeks of Christmas 2022. That is a collab that I'm in with um, Brian at D&D &D, &D Crafts and More um, here on YouTube, and we have several others that have jumped on board with us. You'll find their links down in the description box below. Please go pay them a visit and see what kind of holiday cheer they've come up with. There are some really creative things out there, so I encourage you to click those links and go see what everybody's doing. Now, I have been working with 6x6 six six, uh, one sheet wonder templates, and that is that you take a 6x6 six six sheet of paper, cut it up into a variety of shapes based on your template design, and make cards from those. Now, I have been doing cards one week. And then the following week, taking the same template, the same sheet of 6x6 designer series paper, well, the same pattern, and making junk journal items. So we have a 3x3, three three, a 3x2, three, three 1x1s, two 4x1 inch, two 4x half inch, a 2x2, two two, and a 2x1. I'm going to pull this back in. Nah, flip it over because this just gives me a point of reference. I'm sitting down. And I want to make sure that I'm in frame with everything that I show you. Now, we started last week and we did the cards. And I don't have another sheet of the full. But we worked with this pattern behind us. So this week I brought in a couple of things. I brought in these uh, poinsettia dimensional stickers that I have. And I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. And then I also worked with another sheet of the 6x6 from the same paper pad that I've been working from. And I cut out the strips of the cookies and of the coffee mugs. And some of them I cut the coffee mugs out into uh, rectangles. And so, let's pull this back in. And we'll see. This is... This was the 2x2. Two two, and I... Put it on a piece of Stampin' Up crumb cake cardstock to give it a little bit of a border and then added the poinsettia. This is the 3x2. Again, backed it with the crumb cake. But then I took a section of the coffee mugs and I backed them evenly, not as a mat, but as, an, as, a, uh, as the same size. Back them with a sheet of the crumb cake, crumb cake to give them more durability. And then put them up on a piece of foam tape to give them dimension. Okay. Then I had, this is one of the 4 by ones and I did two of these. Backed them with some of the lace that I've been using. And then run a strip with the uh, cookies. And I did two of those using both of the 4 by ones now these three by one, these three one by ones, these were fun, and this was where I got the idea to use the cups. I just put them up on a foam dot and put them right on the mat. And I did go around and distress the edges with early espresso ink from Stampin' Up. You could use any of your uh, ink colors that you'd want to use to give you that distressed look. Um, then I had. Two of the four by one half pieces, and I took one of them and cut them in a in sections, not a complete third. I did two from this one, and I had a little bit of a cutoff, and then I took the third one because you know I do everything in uh, three signatures in my journals, so I needed to have three. So I took part of this next one down and did the same with it. Put a red eyelet and a bulb pin on and then one of my Stampin' Up uh, flat back Jingle Bell charms. And I did that on three of them so I will have a page edge um, in each of the signatures that has the bulb pin and the uh, bell on it. So we have those. And then I, the other one that was left from this, I just left it, backed it with a strip of the crumb cake. Took another one of the coffee cups, glued it directly to a piece of the scrap, and then popped it up on dimensional. And I backed it with um, 
the lace from Dollar Tree that I've been using. And then here was our three by three with one of the larger uh, flowers that I had. And there, I'm not sure if it's, I think it's supposed to be a candy cane poinsettia. I think. Because um, you can see the holly berry behind it as well. And so I backed it on the crumb cake. So I will have a nice corner tuck. I will have a couple of belly bands. I will have another tuck spot and a third tuck spot. This one will go in the middle signature. So I've got one for each of the three signatures. I have the charms, one of each, one for each of the three signatures. As soon as I figure out how this is going to go on there. There we go. And then I have these. And I really haven't decided what I'm doing with these yet. I just thought they were cute. So, um, next week. We are there, folks. Next week will be our last one. It is the 12th week. I will do a display of all of the cards that we've done. Plus, I'll have these three signatures sewn together and the cover done. Now, I've, I was going to have this done already, I'll be honest. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to do these as three signatures, as sewn-in signatures, or if I wanted to put them in a ring binder. So, I have decided I am going to do them as a signature. So, I will get those covered this week. I have... This will be my inside or my outside cover, and this will be the inside cover. And then I have another piece that I had picked out to run down the spine, and I can't remember what I was going to use. So I will get that pulled together next week. And so next week you will see all of the cards from six of the weeks to see what we've done. I will have them finished. I've finally got my stamps dug out, so I have sentiments to use, and I can put those in where they need to go and finish those cards up so I can get them ready to go in the mail. And I am going to film this video for next week. I'm going to film it in the middle of this week so I can get those cards in the mail. Um, but I'll have those cards to show and I will show you where we are putting all of the elements from the other six weeks into this journal. So remember to take time to fix you a drink and go cruise the other. Um, folks that are in on this all you have to do is in your search bar on youtube or social media put in hashtag 12 weeks of christmas 2022 and there are about a hundred videos out there for you to go cruise through get some christmasy ideas if not for this year you'll have them for next year create a folder in your youtube channel that says 12 weeks of christmas 2022 and drop in all the videos uh save all the videos that have ideas that appeal to you that you might want to try throughout the year Keep in mind, beginning next year, beginning in January, I am going to resurrect my Reindeer Club, which means we will meet back here the 25th of every month, and we will do something Christmassy. Maybe making cards, maybe making ornaments, who knows? But we will do something Christmassy the 25th of every single month up through November. So we'll be ready with Christmas when Christmas comes around in 2023. I look forward to having you back here uh, again. Next Sunday will probably be my last video on the channel until the first of the year. I'm going to be busy trying to get stuff done up to go in my shop. Um, I'm reopening my Etsy shop on January 1st, and I will have another piece of news for that to share with you in January. And so lots of little things that are going to be coming about now that I'm finally getting the studio together and can work with things. So Bob leaves on the 20th. So the rest of this week is all about our Christmas week and spending time with Bob before he leaves. And then when he leaves on the 20th, I will dive back into a crazy work schedule. <laughs> so I will see you back here next Sunday as we complete our 12 weeks of Christmas 2022. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and creative Christmas blessings.